this video we're going to go over the peritoneum versus the retroperitoneum. This is a very confusing. I'm going to do my best to make this as simple as possible. And I will cover the couple things that you really need to know. But I think unless we go over the whole thing, there's really no way to separate what's in the peritoneum versus the retroperitoneum. First off, let me just explain what the peritoneum is. It's always described as having two layers. So there's, you know, an inner and an outer layer. One of them doesn't really move and one of them, I would say, slimy and it slides. I like to think of it, I saw this diagram one time and this is kind of what really helped me understand it the best, is if you imagine a balloon and push, what happens is that balloon will deform around the object and you end up with two different layers. So if that makes sense, that this is a big bag that has collapsed and you have two different sides to it, but they're basically touching and in between there's just a microscopic amount of fluid. So when we think about our organs, let's say we have our liver, this bag that surrounds it kind of surrounds it like this, but it's not closed off and there's two layers to it. And in this space, there's fluid in between and it just allows it to slide. So let's, let's just uh, list off the things that are in the peritoneum right away. It would be the stomach, the liver, and the gallbladder. They kind of go hand in hand. Spleen. You also have your ovaries and uterus. These are the ones that are, I think are the most important for us to know. You also have a lot of uh, bowel, which I'll list here. One of the main ones you need to know is that the tail of the pancreas, and only the tail. We have the first part of our duodenum, just the first part, and it's actually the first three centimeters. You do not need to know that number, I'm just telling you so you can kind of visualize. And I'm gonna draw this out in a second so we can see it all. We have our jejunum, our ileum, and our sigmoid colon. So these are our peritoneal organs. The big ones you need to know um, that I think people get confused on would be spleen and tail of pancreas for sure. That one you're going to be asked guaranteed. And then also the uterus and ovaries. All right, retroperitoneal. What is in our retroperitoneum? Again, let's separate this with organs versus bowel. Kidney. I mean, most of the time you're doing a retroperitoneal exam, you're going to just be doing kidney and bladder. We include our ureter that's in the retroperitoneum, our adrenal gland, which sits on top of the kidney, and then our aorta and IVC. And again, because we have part of the pancreas here, we want to include all of those, and that's the head, neck, and the body. For our bowel, we have the duodenum, the second and third parts basically the rest. And then we have our ascending and descending colon and our rectum. And so that's everything in our retroperitoneum. And I, I'm gonna draw this out here in a second so we can kind of understand why they are where they are. Okay, let's look at a cross section first. This is our abdomen here. Let's put our spine back here. So what do we have in our peritoneum? Let's say we're at our level of our liver. We have our liver here with our gallbladder. Those will be paired snail. We have a portion of our stomach over here. Well, I mean the whole stomach, but that's what we're seeing on this view is the stomach. We have our spleen. I'm gonna draw the whole pancreas, but we're gonna separate that into two portions. Only the tail of the pancreas is paired to nail. So then what would be retro paired to nail? We would have our kidney here, other kidney here, Aorta and IVC. Just imagine our adrenal gland on top of the kidneys. You know, we wouldn't see them in this view, but they're there. What I like to think is that this portion here is retroperitoneal. So we have our adrenal glands, our kidneys, head, neck, body of pancreas, and our aorta and IVC. In our peritoneum, we have our liver, our gallbladder, our stomach, and our spleen. 
Okay, I want to draw out the intestinal part, and this is where it'll seem confusing for a second, but as we separate what's peritoneal versus what's not, it becomes a little more clear. So I'm going to put our stomach way up here, our pylorus valve right here, and then we'll have our duodenum coming down. We'll have our ascending colon, our transverse colon, and our descending colon. Our duodenum still comes down through here. We have our jejunum kind of squirreling around. Right at our cecum, we have our appendix coming off. Draw right over our logo there. At the bottom of our descending colon, we have the sigmoid colon come across here, and then our rectum coming off of there. I'm going to label all of this. I know it looks a little confusing right now, but we'll, we'll get there. I'm going to label our peritoneal portions in, in pink here, and I'll do the retroperitoneal in blue or green, or teal, whatever color this is. So our stomach is in the peritoneum, pylorus is, the duodenum, the first portion, three centimeters of it, our jejunum, all the way to the ileum, we have our transverse colon, our sigmoid, and even our appendix down here. Can you see how it's kind of grouped? as you kind of come down through the middle there. So what's in our retroperitoneum? This, the second and third portion of our duodenum, our ascending colon and our descending colon, our rectum. So I'd just like to think of it as basically that center portion is in our peritoneum and everything at the end, the ascending, the descending on both ends and the rectum or in the retroperitoneum, and just that second and third portion of the duodenum. And the one thing I don't have on here is if we have our pancreas coming in right here. That sits in the retroperitoneum too, so you can kind of see how it sits along with that, that second and third portion of the duodenum. And then it's just the tail that peeks out into the into the peritoneum. I'm going to put a cleaner version of this drawing up so that way you'll be able to see it pretty easily. Uh, I hope this helps. Again, the first portion of the video where we're talking about liver, gallbladder, pancreas, kidneys, ureters, that's probably the most important. There will be a few questions maybe on the intestinal portion. The biggest thing you need to know though is kidneys, ureter, tail of the pancreas. All right, well, that's the end of the video. If you need more study materials like this, we have a complete physics video course. We have more videos for abdomen and OBGYN, including study guides and unlimited practice tests. So visit us on examrefresh.com. If you can, like and subscribe. That helps us get in front of more people so we can provide more free content like this. Thank you.